How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. It's Torben Tuesday. Torben Tuesday is the day where we get given an image full of clues from Playground Games themselves as to what is in the next Forza update. As you know, Series 7, the next update for Horizon 5, is releasing next week and we've got a bunch of clues to try and figure out in today's video in a Torben Tuesday image. If you enjoy this video guys, please do consider subscribing to the channel. It helps out massively. Let's get into it. So as you can see, we got the tweet from Playground Games that says Thorben Thursday, because it's not Tuesday, is back with a few hints on the mighty whiteboard. Can you catch them all? So this is the image here. Let's try and break it down and see what we can figure out. So now we're going to start on the left hand side of the board, which seems to be some colours. I'm sure some of you may recognise these sort of hashtag numbers. These are hex colours or hex codes for a certain colour. And all you have to do is Google the letters and numbers. So the top one, if you Google the top one, the 0001, it comes up with the colour black. If you Google the second one, DD0000, comes up with the colour red. If you Google the last one, comes up with the colour yellow. What does this tell us? Black, red and yellow. If you put them in the exact order that they are on the board, black, red and yellow makes the colour or the flag German. That I worded that very strange. It's the German flag. What could that mean? Well, something German related coming, maybe a German car manufacturer. It's going to be quite hard to break that down because there are quite a lot of German car manufacturers, as I'm sure you're aware. Well, if we look on the right hand side of the board, we have the words Cavallino Rampante. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. You guys are always telling me how to pronounce stuff. I'm just really bad at pronouncing things. Leave me alone, okay? Cavallino Rampante. If you translate this from Italian to English, this means prancing horse. And if you just Google Cavallino Rampante, it does come up with just Ferrari. Everywhere you see is Ferrari. A prancing horse is the Ferrari logo. So that is obviously telling us something about Ferrari. Are we getting a new Ferrari in this update? It's certainly seeming very likely. If we have a look at all of the cars which have been leaked so far to this day from Horizon 5, there isn't actually any Ferraris on there at all apart from one, the Ferrari F8 Tributo. Now this doesn't guarantee that the Ferrari that this board is hinting towards is the F8 Tributo, but it's possible because it's in the files. I'm sure we'll find out next week exactly what Ferrari it's on about. There's quite a lot of them. We'll have to wait and see but what's confusing to me is ferrari is obviously italian um but the german flags on the board so why have we got the german flag on the board um i don't know maybe maybe a couple of audis are coming okay further down the board we have some kind of red it's not really a graph but what it seems to be is a red circle and then there's an arrow to the left of the right and each left and the right it has a minus sign and 100 meters i think that says 100 m and then there's a plus 100 meters on the on the right don't really know what this could mean to be honest it seems to say i don't know if that says soon in the middle or 500 meters not too sure what that means as you may know with torment tuesdays i go through all of the twitter replies all of the forums and look for all of your guys opinions on torment tuesday as well and if i've missed anything i include it in the video and i couldn't really find any guesses as to what this red stuff means so we're going to skip past that and go to this bit here that's just below now if you don't know what this is at first glance this is a formula this is an equation type thing a mathematical type thing and kelpie d over on gt planet and a few other people have noticed that this is actually an equation or a formula for Newton's gravitational force. Now, as you know, in one of the last updates, we got a new event lab rule where you could sort of change the gravity in the game for certain rules in event lab. Um, now, we've, now, we've got a gravitational formula on the board now. Maybe they're adding even more things to do with event lab's gravity, you know, rules of play for the next update. Maybe they're adding more things you can do with it to do with gravity. We'll have to wait and see. Let me know what you guys think of that in the comment section below. But just below that, we have what seems to be a blue line with sort of lines across it and then sort of red lines along it. Now, to me, at first glance, this, this seems to be a root. I believe that this blue thing is a root. The, the lines on them are checkpoints and the red lines are sort of barriers. So it's just basically a little graphic of a race. And then over on the right of it, we have a black arrow that's sort of pointing the race to the formula. So what I think this is trying to tell us is this is a race with checkpoints. This is an event lab race. And the black arrow is trying to tell us that this formula 
has got something to do with this race or this event lab. So this to me is even more evidence that this here is on about a new event lab rule to do with gravity, something along those lines. Now just below that we have another foreign word which again I don't know how to pronounce this, I apologise. I'm not even going to try actually, I'm not even going to try so you can't take the mick out of me. This word here translates to engineer. Now this doesn't really tell us anything but one keen eye over on GT Planet and someone in the Twitter replies as well notice that this here is a title of a book by someone called Giulio Alfieri um, and this guy is an engineer at Maserati between the 50s and 70s so this could this word could be hinting towards something Maserati related. Now if you go to Forza right now and go to your coming soon tab it will tell you that we are getting some kind of automotive heritage event. Now automotive heritage obviously sounds some, like something old and you know heritage related and this you know it leads towards old cars you know old vehicles old heritage vehicles and the fact that you know an engineer, engineer from Maserati between the 50s and 70s um, is on this board maybe we're getting an old Maserati in this event or something along those lines maybe this is a hint towards the heritage event let's have a look at what else is on the board if we go over to the left of that word then I'm not going to say because I don't know how to pronounce it there is another formula and once again this formula has been narrowed down to be a torque formula you know vehicular torque and again if we look at the the other formula on the board which is the gravitational one which is hinting towards an event lab rule presumably what does this mean are they adding even more rules for the engine torque scaling within event lab rules we'll have to wait and see but that and the gravitational force is what the two formulas mean over on the right we have a number which is 2.076 now this could mean a lot of things because it's just a number but one keen eye over on gt planet once again remembered about a car which is on the leaked car list now this is a car which has been found within the files and it is the fiat s76 beast of turin now this is a car which would fit perfectly with the automotive heritage event which we are claimed to be getting in the next update and it's called the s76 as i said and this number has the number 76 in it could this 2.076 be hinting towards the S76 coming to the game? And he also mentions that the S76 Beast of Turin has 2,000 pound feet of torque. And obviously that number sort of looks like 2,000. So, you know, is it the is it the number 2,000 paired with the number 76? So just hinting towards the Fiat S76 Beast of Turin with 2,000 pound feet of force, of torque, sorry, um, coming to the game. It will add up perfectly with the Automotive Heritage event. Again, we're going to have to wait and see. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Let's go further down and see what we have here. We have some text which is very clearly, Start with summer, wet season, season change Thursday, half two UTC. Not really sure why they've put this on the board. Something very interesting now that I'm personally quite excited about and that's over on the right here. Um, we've got some kind of uh, box with a load of lines on, that's irrelevant. But what we have below that, is what seems to be in my opinion the word sorry the word june with a cross through it and then a y put to the right of it is this trying to tell us that something in june has been crossed out and moved to july do you see what i'm trying to say and i'm sure all of you are probably thinking the same thing are they on about the first expansion was it planned for June and it's been crossed out and moved to July? There's obviously nothing on this board which is telling us about the first expansion and that's the concerning thing. But why why have they put the word June, crossed it out and sort of changed it to July? What else do we have on the board? If we go further down, we have four boxes which all seem to have something within them. This sort of looks like a deformed butterfly. This looks like the letter C. This looks like a line this looks like a peanut um not a clue i don't have any ideas of what any of this could mean so we're going to gloss over that not going to lie no idea what this word says even if i did know what this word says i don't know what it's going to tell us um below that we do have some kind of circle a red dotted circle with some kind of green cube in it i don't really know to be honest on that one either everything on the bottom of the board seems to be sort of clueless i'm not really sure what any of it could mean there are a few other things on the board which sort of may hint towards what certain other clues are meaning so if we have a look at the top right we know that we have the clue towards ferrari 
Um, if we have a look down here, I don't know if this is how equations work. I'm quite good at maths, but I'm not really into all formulas and stuff like that. For some reason, this bit and this bit are in red, and it's the same down here. These two in particular letters are in red, and if you look at them, they look quite similar to SF. Now, could this be telling us that the Ferrari, or one of the Ferraris, if there's multiple that's coming, is the SF90? It's certainly possible. Unless these ha letters have to be a different colour for this formula to work, I don't, I, I'm not sure, to be honest. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. But from what I know about formulas, these are supposed to be Fs, and for some reason they have been made to look quite a lot like an S. So this could be telling us that the SF90 is coming to the game, we'll have to wait and see next month. As for other stuff about Series 7, which is next week, we know that Mike himself said that they are planning on adding S2 class Horizon Tours and a lot more combinations of Horizon Tour races. So hopefully that's a feature that they have actually done as they said for update 7 so that might be one of the features we're getting next week next week sorry um, s2 class horizon tour racing and a lot more combinations of races i don't see anything hinting towards that on the board at the moment but yeah that is this week's this month's torben tuesday let me know what you think in the comment section below we will know if we are right or wrong about all of this next week in player of games live stream leave a like if you've enjoyed everyone subscribe if you haven't already for more horizon content just like this and i'll see you all later